Hello everybody. Today I would like to model a saw blade. Also to demonstrate some uh, further uses of the spin tool. So to do this I start with a circle, shift A, and I make the circle with 16 sides. Then I tap to uh, the edit mode, go to top view, press the home key and rotate this a little. Actually I rotate it 180 divided by 16 which is 11.25 degrees. Okay, now I press the E key, right click to activate the tool, E, right click to activate the extrude tool and scale it in, doesn't matter how much. Then I go to polygon or face mode press this one control e invert selection and x delete these faces okay now i put the 3d circle uh, to here and then I select this vertex here and activate the spin tool, click on the plus and make this 30 degrees. And 9, yes. Now we can use this middle circle here. It's sometimes a bit tricky to catch and then bring this out to where you think it looks right. Then we take this edge here and click on the plus here again and the angle is 30 degrees again and we can again put this to where we need it for example to to about here okay I deactivate the spin tool now I select <coughs> these two polygons press the scale key S and scale it to zero but on the X axis and now they are exactly aligned to each other. Now I can go to uh, polygon mode, hide this edge mode, select all these edges, mm, no. Let me do something else first. I make select this vertex here, the G key, and bring this to maybe here. Then I can select these three vertices right click loop tools and G stretch them. So the, these are all aligned now. Then do the same with these. Right click G stretch and we have a straight line. This is like align vertices in model. So now I go to edge mode, select everything, go to face selection here and 
Uh, no, this will not work. But I can bridge edge loops, then Alt H to unhide everything, then A to select everything, Q to get my quick favorites, and merge by distance. And the ones who don't know where this is, it is mesh, clean up, merge by distance. And when you right click on any of these selections, you have the possibility to add it to your quick favorites. Okay, next I select this edge here, extrude on X and bring this out a little bit, then select it, P key and separate. And now we have two objects. One is this tooth here and the other one will become this uh, hard metal thingy which is uh, soldered on top with most of the saw blades. Okay, now I scale this a little, scale it in Y, shift, so it is a bit like so. Then I can go back to my object mode, A to select everything, go to uh, edit mode and shift S and bring my cursor back to world origin, A to select everything. Now we can use the spin tool again in uh, 360 degrees, but with duplicate. And now we want to have 16. Mm, no, that was too early. Control Z. Um, the problem is I need a bit more geometry. So I add in an additional edge in here. Control R, left click and right click. And now we have doubled the geometry to 32 edges, which is usually enough to get a nice round shape. So again, A key, select everything, then the spin tool, click in here. I don't know why it loses this all the time. 360 and 16 steps. And now we can Disable the spin tool, select everything, quick favorites, select uh, now merge by distance and it has removed 69 vertices. Okay, now I go to edge mode, select this inner edges, right click loop tool and make a so Now I can press the E key right click to activate and scale this in to about here. Now control R, left and right click, control R again, left, right click and I added two more circles in here. Now we can go to object mode select everything, go back to edit mode, A to select everything, and then extrude in Z, and then extrude this up as far as we like, and then I select these uh, faces here, grab in Z, and pull them up a little. Now we can go back to object mode, select only these hard metal things, 
go back to edit mode and select all and scale them in Z, shift, till they are overlapping this here a little bit. Okay, next I go and give them a material. So new, make it white and uh, make it metallic and a little roughness. Let's see. Yes. Okay, next I select only the inner part, go back to edit mode and select all the sharp edges. So select sharp edges or I use that so often that I have it in my quick favorites, select sharp edges, put in edge mode. And I would like to also add these edges here. Uh, no, I think we better give all this uh, the material. I select everything, give this a material, uh, make it kind of yellow and assign it then I select this middle ring of faces, make a new material, make it black without, uh, without specular and roughness here and assign. Let's have a look. Yes, that looks good. Now we can bevel all the sharp edges. So I go to edge mode, select sharp edges, or I use this so often that I have it in my uh, quick favorites. And we have selected some wrong ones here. So again, select sharp edges, that's better. Then shift, alt, click on these edges here and on these ones. And now we can control B and shift, pull this out a little with two segments and a profile of one. Now tap to uh, Object mode, right click, shade smooth with everything selected. If you want to, you can also add uh, a subdivision service, surface modifier, but I leave it as it is here. So shift A, I add a plane, scale it out by 22, left click. Then I give the plane also a material, uh, something blue. And then I go to the orthographic view, grab the plane and bring it down a little bit so we get some shadows. Then I use a uh, I press numpad zero and Q lock camera to view. And now we can select this uh, lock camera to view has not worked. 
and I want to see it in the cycles render because it makes nicer shadows. And I need a light for this to work. And I want to have an area light like so. Now I make this a bit smaller, 66, which is the format YouTube expects and we can render it. So thanks a lot for watching, take care and see you some other time. Bye bye for now.